Hello, it's Alimek. In today's video, I will be using injector pulsing tester and see if it's any good. So, the tester comes in a bag with a simple instruction. Here you got your 12 volt power supply input terminals. And these are power output terminals that connects to a fuel injector. Here you got your pulse and pulse modes. I will be using this battery. It's a 12 volts when it's fully charged. But you can use car battery as well. And here I got my fuel injector for testing. The battery and tester terminals are different, so I'm just gonna use alligator clip to connect them together. But if you are using car battery, you won't need that. So we got four different modes. Let's connect the injector and test each mode. I might change these terminals to alligator clip so I can use it for any injector easily. And it doesn't matter which one is a positive or negative, it's still gonna work. Okay, all connected, let's try the first mode. It's a single pulse, each time I press, it opens a single time. For changing the mode, you just have to press the mode and it must change the number, but it doesn't. Each time I want to change the mode, I have to disconnect the power and then I can change the mode. That's the first thing I don't like about it so far. The first three modes stops in a certain time, but the last mode is a continuous pulse. You have to press it again to stop. I'm just gonna remove the o-ring and connect my DIY adapter so I can connect the fuel injector and a carb cleaner together. So we can test each mode with pressure. Not only the carb cleaner cleans the injectors, but we can also see how each mode sprays. As you can see, I had to put a tape to prevent the cap from popping out. Okay, no leak, we are good to go. Let's connect the tester and try each mode. So far, I really like how it works. With a simple setup like this, you can clean and test any fuel injector. On my old fuel injector cleaning videos, I had to use a push switch to open the fuel injector, but this makes so much easier. The only thing I didn't like about it when changing the modes, I had to disconnect the battery, but other than that, it works really good. I'll be connecting alligator clips so I can use it for any fuel injector. That's the only modification it needs. So that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.